The I team found that Worley was part of a six month national program designed to actually train future police chiefs. And he joined the program last September and spent four days earlier this year shadowing the police chief in San Diego. After the now former BPD Commissioner Michael Harrison voiced his full support for his replacement at Thursday morning's news conference, Mayor Brandon Scott turned the page. I'd like to now turn towards the future leadership at the BPD. That was Rich Worley's cue, stepping into his sixth promotion in as many years, now as the acting BPD commissioner. Worley was quick to thank Harrison. When Commissioner Harrison first got here, the first meeting I had with him, he told me he was going to start grooming his successor. This BPD organizational chart from March shows Worley was selected for the top position ahead of three other deputy commissioners in the department. Perhaps part of the reason he was chosen to lead the department, Worley has a track record of showing he wants this. The I-Team has learned Worley began a National Police Executive Leadership Institute program last September. The website says the program is aimed at high-level police executives who have a strong desire to become a police chief or sheriff. It has a curriculum and features a mentor experience. And the website boasts that nearly one-third of participants have become police chiefs. If the Baltimore City Council approves Worley as commissioner, the institute can add him to that list. I am really excited to continue the partnership we've built uh, so far as a part of our shared commitment to building a better, safer Baltimore. And in early March, Worley spent four days in San Diego with its police chief as part of the institute's mentorship program. The I-team asked San Diego PD for an interview, but a spokesperson said the chief was unavailable. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Tali Taylor. Tali, thank you very much. And six mayors have led Baltimore City since the turn of the century. Our timeline shows the changes in leadership at the Baltimore Police Department since then. It's all in the WBAL-TV app. Just tap local news.